Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to, I guess perhaps an attempt to get back to my roots with regards to the Let's Play channel here. We're playing Caravan Trade Tycoon. Now you may be wondering, Simicraft, what do you even mean by your roots? Well, people like No Umbrella's Loud, we had a very good series with that for a while, and this is also commerce themed, so who knows, maybe it'll do well. Uh, I will say, uh... Hopefully I'm not too uh, mentally slow today, I barely got any sleep last night, but I am here recording the video for you regardless. So, without further ado, I guess let's get into this. I'm, I'm not sure my mouse is on fire, but uh, we'll, we'll take it, let's go. I can't continue, obviously, it's a new game. New game, um... Oh my, how many... Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Bradia! So I guess we're looking at... Okay, I need a caravan name. The caravan will be... Uh, okay. Alright, character name will be Sir... Uh, I don't know. Will be... Austinian. Craft... What? Austinian. Austinian Craft. Caravan name, uh... The, the, the cheap... Market... Uh... Chumps. No. <laughs> uh... Cheap... Uh, manufactured... That's all capital. I hope that's how you spell that. Cheap manufactured consumables. There you go. Um, let's see. And I guess there's countries here. So there's Bradia. Bradia is one of the three kingdoms of the east. It has some beautiful coastlines and lovely islands. Its capital, Elo Elmon, is the biggest port city in the east, Quadia. Because of that, Bradia imports lots of materials which are used for building. That's why Bradia has the lowest homeless population all over the Quadia. Sounds like a workout routine. It is 5% cheaper to upgrade the workshops. Solden is one of the three kingdoms of the East. A legend states that all the mer merchants, all the merchants are originated from the land of Solden. It, it, uh, Solden. It is because of the great workmanship of caravan parts. Also, since it is a neighbor to the Sano, it has some great horses too. Caravan upgrades are 10% cheaper. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Sano! Sano more, eh? <laughs> Kingdom of Sano is one of the three kingdoms of the East, and it is the strongest one. It has some great plains with amazing scenery. Those plains are not only good for the people of Sano, but also for the horses. Thanks to the horses, Seno was at the winning side in the Quadian Civil War. Horsemen are 10% stronger. I need... I, I, I get horsemen? What, what? I'm just a merchant. Why do I need that? Cheria is an important country because of its geostrategic position. It is neighboring to the three kingdoms of the east. Or three kingdoms, rather. There's no the there. No definitive article. Also, it shares a border with Bilagia and Sinogia. Singania. After the war with the Three Kingdoms of the East, Cherian Kingdom started to collapse. Both royalty and commune suffered. Deadly poverty led people to crimes. Because of that, Cheria became a safe harbor for the bandits. It is 15% less likely to encounter with bandits. What's the it in this context? Bylagia! Bilagia is the motherland of guilds. Most of the citizens are soldiers and mercenaries. Not only citizens, but also rulers are glorious soldiers. Bilagia is being ruled by 12 guilds. With this oligarchic regime, Bilagia is the most unstable country in Quadia because of the conflicts between the guilds. It is 5% cheaper to upgrade soldiers. I need soldiers? What? Syngonia is the youngest country in the Quadian. After the Treaty of Pal, Syngonia became fully independent. Singania has very talented artisans and is famous with its workshops. With its talented artisans, Singania, also known as Land of Crafters. Workshops are 10% cheaper. 
Halingia. Halingia. Halingia is the first democratic country in the Quadian. After gaining its independence, Halingia became a focus of interest for all the merchants around the Quadia. With its great richness, Halingia became a paradise for all the merchants and citizens. Extra starting money. Berlia is the second successor of Quadian Empire. It has some great mountains and talented archers with two this with two this combined, Berlia I suppose with both of these combined. Berlia is invincible, almost. After I I Yeah, after I I Quadian Civil War. Berlia lost its old prestige. Still, Berlia is trying to rebuild its glory and be the strongest country in the West. Archers are 10% stronger. Good to know. Okay, uh... Have we done Blesh... Bleshevsbia? Bleshevsbia. Bleshevs... Bleshevsbia. Bleshevsbian Empire is one of the successors of the Quadian Empire. It has some important port cities like Soweyo. Soweyo. However, the country is still trying to recover from II Quadian Civil War. The second Quadian Civil War, perhaps? During the Civil War, Blesian infantries played a big role. That's why Blesian infantries are well known among all the people of Quadia. Infantries are 10% stronger. Well, you know what? Amongst all these things, I think we're going to go with Singonia. Hail to the famous artisans. Yes, let's go. Is that the world map? It looks like the UK. Hold on. Welcome to the game! You can click on the city symbols to check rates and set a destination. After you are done, press the next tour button to proceed. For more information about the game, check the codex section. Well then. So this is the world. Uh, I have to say, thus far, it's far from the most refined game I've ever seen. I guess we have 100 gold. Uh, we've got, I guess the north is this way. Um, uh, where are we? Uh, let's look at the, oh, I can upgrade, but that costs money. Okay, that's fair. Uh, where am I right there? I guess I'm somewhere in, do I have another? Okay, it's winter. Apparently. Okay, great. Is this me? Pal? Okay, let's look at our inventory. We have nothing. Let's look at our balance. We have a hundred gold and no salaries to worry about. Yay. Uh, notifications. Nothing. Filter. I don't even know what that means. Time. I don't know. Time to get a watch, I guess. It's turn one. I guess we can start in PAL. Let's look at the information of PAL. Or, okay, we'll look at the rates. Okay, so, rate, ingots are going for 1.13, ores 1.97, cooked food 0.74, that seems pretty cheap. Raw foods 1.43, clothing's 1.43, luxuries 1.14. Okay, so basically, we want to... Buy, buy low, oh, sell high, right? So let's see. That cooked food seems pretty good. Are there any neighboring cities that are have a high rate for cooked foods? Yeah, that okay. So this is 1.12. Interesting, interesting. If we go to Galaria, or yeah, Gal Galara, 1.42. I think that's even better than over here. Yes, yes. So that seems like a good opportunity. 1.60 over in Nango. Ooh, 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 ooh. Could we go e a further afield? What if we went to b over here? Buryamo. Okay. Seems like... Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, here in Pal. The city has more stocks than usual. There are more items in the shop. Okay. I guess we'll choose Pal as the destination, right? And then we will go to the market, I guess, probably. Let's look at the markets. So can we buy cooked food? Cooked foods, yes. 
We can buy 15 cooked foods. Maybe we shouldn't put the whole farm on this. Then again, yeah, it'll be fine. We'll buy 15 cooked foods. Huzzah. Great. Okay, so now we have basically no money. But we're going to go to Nanango. And we're going to go this way. And then we go to the next turn, maybe? All right, yeah, there we go. All right, and now we're at Nanango. We're going to sell this cooked food for 1.6. Just sell all. And there you go. Just like that, doubled our money. Uh, now we, I guess now that we're in Nanango, let's buy something else and see if we can sell it elsewhere. Uh, so what do we got here? Anything strike me as kind of cheap. Ingots, that seems like a good price for ingots. 0 0.68? Well, let's see if there's anything around that it has good ingots prices. Okay, 0 0.61. Maybe 0 0.68 isn't actually a good price for ingots. Uh, okay, I'm realizing 0 0.68 is probably a terrible price for it. At 7.8, that's okay. Not, I'm not thrilled by that. So let's see if we can get it better. Uh, okay, yeah. 1.13, that's pretty good. Well, let's also look into the uh, the ores. Uh, 1. Point... All right, let's buy a bunch of ingots. We'll bring it back to PAL where we'll sell it. So let's go back here, go to the market, and we will buy ingot. This. Oh wait, do they not have ingots here? Hold on, I might have misread it. Ah yes, the city has nothing. Okay, so all they have is raw food actually. Raw food and materials, gotcha. So we need to see where we can pawn off this raw food. Or, or we could just leave here without purchasing anything. That's an option too. So they're selling the raw food, but ideally, whenever we move, we want to, you know, get some stuff. Um, so, raw food, 1.02. So, is there a good, like, difference we can get? Uh, seems unlikely thus far. Okay, 1.43, we'd be getting, like, 30 cents on each food we sold. It's not terrible. I think that's probably what we're going to have to settle for. Because it's about the only place that's buying for uh, cheaper. Okay. That's what we'll do. So, Nanango, congratulations. We are purchasing all your raw foods. So, we're purchasing your potatoes, your wheats, your carrots. We'll buy all the pears. We are, we are just buying all of things. We have bought all the things. Awesome. Uh, I guess we could go to the tavern, check price rates, wait in the city for a while. Nah, nah, nah. All right, then we're going to go to Pal. Choose that as a destination. There we go. Turn 20, sweet. Uh, let's go do some selling here. Uh, we're going to sell our carrots for respectable profits, and our pears, and our wheat, and our potatoes. There you go. Look at that. We started with... Two, we're at 248 now. Okay, now what? Any interesting events going on? It's still overstocked? Great. What's going on in Longalia? There's a new building project going on in the city. Price rates of materials and tools are increased. Okay, let's take a look at that. So, materials 1.18, tools 1.2. How does that compare to PAL? Materials? Tools! Tools! That's more than, that's going to more than double. Okay, yeah. That, that's what we're doing here. If, let's check if Pal actually has tools in stock. Oh boy, does Pal have tools in stock. Yes, it does. Okay. Is it just me or is it like randomizing the map every time we go into the city? Okay, give me some tools. Okay. Give me all the copper hammers you have. Or as many as I can afford at least. We are buying 24 copper hammers. And another 24... Is that as much as I can, can buy? Okay, yeah. Now we go to Longalia. Okay. Let's go. Go to the market and sell those hammers. This will be good. You've leveled up. You earned a perk point, which you can spend at the perks panel in the caravan 
upgrades to unlock perks. Okay. Uh... can go to our player shop. I don't even... Purchase the shop? I'm not sure how this even works. Um... Farm. You can farm fruits and vegetables? I can farm stuff? That's weird. Okay, how do I get to the caravan? Balance co notifications. Caravan? Upgrade storage to increase inventory slots. That costs 5,000. We don't have 5,000. Let's look at the perks, though. Okay, um, workshops are 5% cheaper to purchase. I think that's the only thing we... Or, can we get, like, anything? You can sell luxuries for 5% more. Uh, caravans. Upgrades are 5% cheaper. What do we want? And buying for less and selling for more are fundamentally similar. However, well, hmm. Well, let's think about this though. If I'm buying low, then the reduction of 5% at the lower price is going to be a smaller, because I, I'm, you always want to buy low, sell high, right? So buying is always going to the lower price if you're doing your job right. Which means a 5% reduction in the sale price I think it's a smaller absolute number than a 5% increase or a 5% reduction in the buy price, what we buy, pay to buy it. Should, if we're buying low, selling high, be a, a smaller absolute value than a 5% increase in the sell price. So we should be trying to sell better before we try to buy better, I think. And I think we will start with... I mean, food is probably a pretty common item, so let's let's get raw food. I mean, who? Oh, we can't. We can only get this, and we don't have any more perks. Oh well. Um. So, what can we get here in Longala? Longala. We can buy materials, although I think they're actually kind of expensive here, if I'm accurate. Raw foods and cooked foods. So let's see if raw food. So those are both running around a dollar. Right, raw food's a bit under, cooked food's a bit over. So let's see what we can do with that. Can we go up the river at all? Okay, so cooked foods get like... Is that like 30 cents on it? Yeah, yeah. So that's not bad. That's not bad. We could make that work. I think that might be the play. Especially since it's so, so close, right? You always got to factor in travel time. 1.43 on the raw foods when we go to the PAL, though, right? And the raw foods are actually less expensive to buy here. So, actually, I think that's the play. I think we buy some raw foods. Um, just buy, like, loads of potatoes. Uh, and also... Some olive oil. And actually, curiously, um, that's, I think, all the raw foods they have here. So, we might want to see if we can buy, like, a secondary sort of product. Just... To you know, be maximizing our turnover. Uh, weapons, armors, luxuries, ores, and ingots we would all do well with. Did Longolia have any of that? We could get some weapons. H how good of an increase is that? That's actually pretty good. That's like uh, 3x, I think. Okay, yeah, let's buy, let's buy them out of weapons. There we go. Weapons. Uh, copper swords. Thank you. Uh, I don't think armor is technically a weapon. So materials, armor, and cooked foods. Let's see if there's any demand in PAL for that. Materials, armors, 1.31 compared to here in Lungalia. It's 0 0.59. Okay, yes, we are definitely buying the armors too. Give me. Okay, and... Still have a lot of money. Um... But materials is worse here. Of course, we don't need to sell everything in the next town we go to, right? So, like, we, we could, uh, you know, potentially buy some materials here in Langala and sell them elsewhere. Or some cooked foods, see if anywhere's, like, got better prices for cooked foods. So, I guess one option is we could buy out the cooked foods, right? We go to Pal, sell that goods there, then go to Gahalara and sell the cooked foods there. Uh, that seems reasonable. Okay, let's buy out the cooked foods. Uh, we didn't check luxury prices. Hold on, let me just check luxury prices real quick. 
1.14 compared to Langala is... Okay, never mind. We're buying luxuries. And if we have extra money, then we'll buy the food. Okay, we bought some luxuries. Now we'll buy some pies. Great. Okay. And now we journey to Pal. Okay, here we go. So, just don't sell the pies here. We sell the luxuries here. We sell the weapons here, certainly. We sell the raw foods. And the armor. Okay. Don't sell the pies. Now what can we... Can, we can bakery stuff, apparently. I'm not sure what this does, but okay. Now that we're in PAL, let's look at what's a good price here. And in general, it's overstocked. More items than usual, yeah. What's a good opportunity here? Uh, cooked foods, maybe? 0.72? And that's what we're trying to sell off next. Uh, cooked foods. It, that's about a 1x, or a 2x, rather. A doubling. But we should consider... This city only has 222 gold. Uh, so if they are buying food at Cooked Foods for 1.42, that means they can only buy around, what, like 150-ish? That seems about right. So let's make sure we don't accidentally buy too much, basically. So if we go to Pal here, and we'll buy some foods, uh, Cooked Foods, right? So 49, we already have 15. Hold on a second. How are they 0 0.74 per food? But if I buy 49 of them, it's 325. It should be less than 49, shouldn't it? So if I buy one. Huh? Why is it? Hold on a second. Are these prices even accurate? Um, let's go to the tavern. Here you can check price rates. Let's check the rates. Zero points? Okay, I guess that's correct. Any gossip? I have heard a rumor about where you can sell ingots for the most expensive in this country. Are you interested in learning for a low price? No. Okay. Whatever, let's just buy the food. Worst case scenario, we sell it somewhere else, right? So if I buy... Yeah, whatever. We'll be fine. Let's go move on to the next city. And let's sell this food off. Okay, goodbye, my precious cooked foods. Not enough money in the city. Okay, see, this is what I was worried about. That being said, we can always buy stuff that they have to give them money to then sell elsewhere. Um, so, like, for example, the... Uh, I think... You have some, uh, materials? It's not really even that much. Okay, maybe we just move on to the next city to sell some more food in. Alright, so cooked foods, 1.27. Like, that's lower than here, but I think that's still a profit for us. So, I, I, I think, say so we just move ahead. Let's go. Selling food down the river. Okay. What does this do? Animal farm. You can farm animals here. Well, yeah, or I could be a merchant and, like, sell goods. I've leveled up. Sweet. Okay, great. Let's uh, look at the leveling up perks. Okay, I definitely think we want to uh, sell raw foods for 5% more. That's, I mean, we're kind of in the food business as it is at the moment. 
Okay. So now what? So now where do we go? Let's see, what's going on uh, up further north? Uh, let's take a look at Lokalan. Mine depleted. Mine right in the city has depleted. Price rates of ingots are increased. Okay, let's take a look at this. So your ingots are 0.72, which is actually lower than what we've got here. What, what can we actually buy here, uh, out of curiosity? Uh, we can buy materials and raw foods. So let's see if there's anywhere that like really has some good like raw foods. Filter, can, can we look at like, can we filter by event or anything? So like if we look over at this next city here, what, what are you doing for raw foods? Raw foods, 1.21. You yeah, know what, it's pretty close. It's not the hugest discrepancy in like price, but I'd say we should be able to make a quick buck with that. Okay, raw foods. Let's give it those green peas. Let's get the tomatoes. Let's get the eggplants. I think that's about, oh, some milk. Hooray. Um, what else? We could get some, uh, I guess there's some clothing on sale. Not really much. Yogurt, oh, rice is a raw food. There we go. Yogurt is a cooked food. We could buy ore here, but is it overpriced? I'm not sure. Okay. And we still have a lot of money in our pocket, so like, I feel like I'm wasting it. But I mean, what else could we buy here? Some materials, maybe? What are materials selling for in the next town over? Less. Much less. But like, could we... Let's just go. I gotta select the destination, that makes sense. Alright, well then, hello there. Welcome, I am now selling all of my raw foods at a lovely little profit. Thanks for doing business with me. Great. Okay, what can we do here? So if we look at the ledger here, uh, tool prices and material prices seem quite low. Maybe cooked foods too, even. So like, if we look over here at this Lorande, I think we could get a, that's a good, uh, price for tools over here at Ori any events nothing special eh. and I'm not sure how much we could make on tools alone mine vein depleted tools and clothing and cooked foods 1.5 and cooked foods what do we got here for cooked foods 0 0.7 that's pretty good so we could bring cooked food tools and clothing sure and let's just see how much money do you have to give us. Uh, 403? That's actually not much, unfortunately. Uh, so let's be careful. We will just... <sighs> Any cities beyond that we could do the same sort of deal with? Tools, clothing, food? Okay, yeah. And is this a, a bit better off? Yeah. And then if we go further down the river, we get... Tools, clothing, food? Okay. So we can kind of buy here and then just sell all throughout. I like this. Okay, here we go. So let's get some um, clothing. Thanks. We will get some... Um, was it... It was cooked food we wanted. Yeah, cooked foods. Some vegetable soup. Uh, and I think it was tools was the other thing we were looking at. Tools. Ah, knives. And I might look into luxuries as well. Any place that's like good for luxuries. Maybe we could go to the tavern and see if there's any good uh, gossip around. Let's learn about the gossip. I've heard a room bread where you can sell luxury items for the most expensive in this country. Are you interested in learning? Yes. Paul has a price rate of 1.14 for luxury items. It is the highest rate in the country. Thank you. Paul, 1.14. So if we look here, how much can we buy them for? It's not really much of a profit, and maybe we can like pick up some cheaper luxuries elsewhere. But 
but in general they don't seem to exist elsewhere so we'll just go with this okay let's go um let's do our business here so let's start with selling the clothing off there we go and maybe would you like a single other clothing of course you would uh, so we can buy materials here. 0 0.69 doesn't seem like a bad price for materials. Where would we sell the materials? Is the question, though. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be helping. 1.46, is that a better price for tools than we would have been getting elsewhere? Yeah, okay. So actually, I think we'll come back here and sell our tools at Singal. Actually, let's just do that now. Alright, Singal. I have some tools to sell you. I have a few tools to sell you. There you go. Uh, do you want to buy anything from you here? Luxury goods? No. Anything at the tavern? Where you can sell the most... Ex uh, where you can sell ores for the most expensive? Okay, interesting. Uh, maybe we'll just go ahead right over here to to Seoul. Uh, let's see, selling. Let's sell off the rest of the. Let's sell off some food, actually. Oh, I've leveled up. Huzzah! Okay, I'd like to be able to sell cooked foods for more. Thanks. Um, alright, up we go, up north. Let's sell. I guess we're just kind of unloading everything as much as we can at this point. There we go. All right, now what? So we've off offloaded most of our inventory. We're at 1,800 gold. All right, what would it take to buy a farm? I don't have enough money. It would take 3,400 gold to buy a farm. Interesting. Uh, well, what to do next? Anything that's a good, good deal here. What's the event going on? A ball. A ball is taking place in the city. Price rates of clothing and luxuries are increased. This is your definition of an increased luxury price? Sheesh. Um. Weapons seem pretty cheap, but they don't exist here. Raw food doesn't seem unreasonably expensive, so we could maybe un get some of that. You know, buy some raw food, sell it off over here. Ideally, we'd like to go to a city with a bunch of red. Although, you know, ideally not in the area that we are trying to, like, get. Hmm. So we could, like, go to Sumwega and then move on over to here, maybe, and buy some more raw food. Okay, there's got to be more that we can do than just, you know, raw foods. Um... There's a mine over there. Uh, what do you got for raw food price? Not great. Okay, I guess we'll buy the raw foods here. Thanks. Like, I'm not even crazy about it, so we'll just buy a bit and then we'll move on. I'd like to buy an animal farm if I could. Alright, it gets old. I guess we'll sell the knives. There we go, we sold some knives. Um, animal farm. 70, 700 to buy an animal farm. Yeah, maybe we should head back to 
good old pal since it has it still has like loads of stuff issue is most of it isn't at a good price right like the tools are at a pretty good price so if we could figure out where we could like sell like offload a bunch of tools that'd be something is there anything we could buy here that would sell like raw food actually that's that's a pretty good price for raw food so we could maybe sell a bunch of raw food to pal do we have raw? We sold raw food here, didn't we? Um, poverty. This uh, less gold. Also, it's winter. Just so you know. Apparently. Or we could head like north and look at some other things. What can we buy here? Like, is there anything of note we can buy here? Armor. We could buy armor here. Armor and raw food, basically. Um, so for armor, anywhere nearby that we want to buy armor at a good price? Uh, so far, not great. What's what's the price down in uh, PAL for armor? 1.31? It's not bad. And then we can maybe buy something cool over there. I, I think this is what we're going to go with. It's probably not efficient, but it's something, at least. And I mean, I guess we might as well buy the raw food, too, right? Because it's cheaper here than it is in PAL. Correct. Yeah. So give me some eggplants, some pears, some squash, some garlic, some wheat, some tomatoes. My inventory is full. Okay, never mind. And down to pal we go. Ah, what an adventure. Okay, hello. Um, and now we sell it all off. For a wonderful price. I've leveled up. Wonderful. Okay. Great. Uh, now, as f we could buy... We could... That, that's 25,000? Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Um. You can go to a barracks. That hasn't really been a, a thing. I could purchase a store. Well, I think my, you know, just traveling around is going pretty well. Any gossips? We can buy cooked food for the cheapest. Eh, sure, tell me about it. Paul has it for 0 0.7. Lowest rate in the country. Thank you. We are in pal. I guess we'll buy cooked food then. Lowest rate in the country. Like if we're buying it for the lowest price in the country, then surely we can sell it somewhere for our profits. Any other cooked foods? Nah. And that doesn't seem like a bad price for materials. Let's just check around. Okay, never mind. It's really not a great price for materials. These guys are building a project and still it's not a good price for materials. Ingots at 1.8. Cooked food at 1.3. That's that's a decent little uh, turnaround we could do there. Anywhere else with like better cooked food? Prices around here? 1.59. But do you have money? You got like 200 bucks. Like at least these guys have like... Okay, we'll, we'll go to Baruto. And we'll sell some cooked food. Some bread. Okay, we'll sell... We have a lot of bread to unload. Uh, we'll sell a bit more bread than this. We'll sell this much bread. There we go. 
Do I want to buy materials here? I mean, that, that seems pretty cheap for materials. Might as well. Could potentially offload it elsewhere. Uh, how are you for food prices? It's lower than here, but we'll still be making a profit, so, uh... And th this is actually a pretty big place, so hopefully we get some good stuff here. <laughs>